A terrible story coming out of Flagstaff tonight. A six-year-old boy has been found dead, and his parents and grandmother are facing homicide and child abuse charges. Police say the boy was extremely malnutritioned. Let's get right out to Team 12's Bianca Bono, who is in Flagstaff with the circumstances surrounding this boy's death. Bianca. Well, guys, this is the apartment complex where this horrific incident happened. Police say when they got here yesterday, they tried saving a six year old boy, but unfortunately it was too late. They then found three other children inside one of these units. One of them was also extremely malnourished. As you can imagine, neighbors tell me they are heartbroken. An unimaginable tragedy unfolding in Flagstaff. For something like this to just come out of the blue is extremely troubling. Police were called to an apartment complex near Cedar and 4th Street Monday afternoon, and when officers showed up, they found a six-year-old boy unresponsive. The child was extremely malnourished. He didn't look like a a six year old officers trying everything to save him, but it was too late. He was pronounced dead at the scene. They then turned their attention to the three other children in the home, a two year old, four year old and a seven year old boy. Police say the seven year old was also extremely malnourished, so he was taken to the hospital. We're investigating further why the female child was allowed to go outside and go to school, but we um, don't know why the two males were held inside. So they were not going to school? They were not going to school. According to police, the parents, Jose and Elizabeth Archiveque Martinez, and their grandmother, Anne Marie Martinez, admitted that for the past month, the two boys were kept in a small closet because they were, quote, stealing food and would try to sneak out at night to eat. The punishment was because they were taking food and trying to get access to food. The three siblings now in DCS care. A spokesperson there telling 12 News they received a report involving the same family back in 2013, alleging the victim's sibling was being abused, but say the allegations were unsubstantiated. After the parents completed in-home services, the case was closed. Now, with a new case just beginning, the Flagstaff community wishing they would have seen the signs. Probably the saddest thing we've ever had to deal with. And what you're looking at here is a teddy bear and a candle. A community member just dropped this off a few minutes ago. He said he didn't know the children. He didn't know the family, but he drives by this area every day and was so disturbed by the news that he felt compelled to come by. Now, as you can imagine, the first responders who worked this case, especially that officer who tried resuscitating the six year old are having a really tough time with this one. So mental health professionals are available to them. Now we'll continue to track these developments up here in Flagstaff as they become available to us. For now, we're live in Flagstaff. Bianca Bono, 12 News. Bianca, thanks.